Here are 10 outfits that I'm wearing this summer. Starting off with my Ovedia Brothers floral linen shirt, my green linen pants, and my brown loafers. This is just a really easy, breathable summer fit that has a lot of spring summer colors. Both the linen shirt and the linen pants give a lot of breathability. The fabric looks immaculate. The fit is definitely there. It's nice and relaxed, a little slouchy, but overall drapes on my body very well. And I love wearing florals throughout the whole summer. And this is definitely gonna be a shirt that's gonna be on repeat. Next up, we got this white shirt from the Wise Guy NYC. My teal wool silk and linen suit and my black loafers from Johnson & Murphy. And I really just wanted a nice subtle pop. I didn't wanna do too much with pattern. But in the suit, I really think that the grain from the linen as well as the shine from the silk really gives a lot of depth to this outfit. And I think that it pops in a way where it doesn't need crazy patterns. All it really needs is the vibrant color that it has coupled with a nice wide collar from the Wise Guy shirt. And I love wearing open collars over my suit jacket. I've really just been feeling that look lately and I think that it really suits me so well. And I know it's not everybody's thing and you don't have to do this but the concept is definitely there a nice vibrant colored suit with a beautiful high quality polo shirt mine just happens to have a wider collar but you could easily do this at home with very minimal effort all you need is a vibrant colored suit and a polo shirt next up we got these floral print pants my left field denim western shirt and my black johnson and murphy dress boots and i really love the brand obey because they have amazing printed pants and other printed garments that aren't really all that much expensive they're very reasonably priced i get a lot of compliments on this garment and i think that it pairs so well with the neutral color of the denim western shirt and I love the higher cropped kind of detail on the fit because it allows me to really show off the boots and gives this outfit a little bit of a western vibe while still bringing it to the summer theme not to mention that this left field denim western shirt is one of my favorite denim shirts that I've ever owned it probably is my favorite denim shirt that I've ever owned because of the hand loom texture the drape the shine and just the overall color that it has having been hand dyed with natural indigo and you really don't have to do any florals for this if you wanted to do a white linen pant you can while still keeping the denim shirt and maybe some cowboy boots or some dress boots, even loafers, you could really easily replicate this at home or even just switch it up in so many different ways to make it easily wearable. Speaking of white linen pants, for the next outfit, we're gonna be wearing my white linen pants with my white t-shirt, my 316 black lace cardigan, and my Johnson & Murphy boots again. And the reason why I did this is because I really wanted the black to pop and I really wanted the lace detail to show out in the cardigan. I've been wearing this cardigan a lot recently and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. And I just love the way that any color you wear under it just pops so beautifully and gives the cardigan a subtle touch and keeps it nice and breathable it drapes so well and I think that the baggy white linens really complement this whole kind of slouchy fit while bringing in a little bit of the summer black and I also didn't button it all the way to the top because I didn't want it to look too stuffy I just wanted it to look calm effortless easy and it's overall a really nice comfortable fit for when you're by the waterside and this is for those windier and colder summer nights if you're in New York you know exactly what I'm talking about and this is just a perfect fit for that weather next Next up, I'm gonna wear my Full Count 0105s, which are a one wash selvage denim, and my Ancre Atelier embroidered jacket in a French blue. And I'm also gonna pair it with my black loafers and white socks because I kinda wanna show off the white socks and I wanna show off the loafers and I like that crop look with a jacket that's very straight like this. The jacket's not exactly baggy, it's not exactly skinny. It's just a very straight cut jacket, which kinda gives a really wide silhouette to the bottom, half of the body. And usually what I like to do is I like to proportion it out with a little bit of a higher hem, or if I'm wearing jeans, I like to cuff it up to kind of give it that look intentionally. And the embroidery on this jacket is just amazing. And I didn't want to do too much on the other garments because you really want this embroidery to pop on a statement piece like this. And I really love this outfit because it's a nice lightweight cotton sateen jacket and a nice lightweight denim, super, super breathable. And both the jacket and the denim are going to break in over time and fade down to something absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to see how those garments look after a while. And this is just another simple, easy fit to just throw on or you could sub out the embroidered jacket for a denim jacket if you want something more composed and you could really tailor this kind of baseline fit to fit your style next up for a nighttime going outfit I'm gonna throw on my supreme short sleeve velvet shirt my wide leg black pants and some black loafers because I really love the mysterious kind of vibe that this gives off and I love how it allows the black velvet to really shine and it's still gonna shine at night which is probably gonna be the most appropriate time to wear an all black fit in the summer and it's gonna give that little bit of something that little bit of character that dimension it's gonna allow this outfit to pop really well 
while still remaining understated and elegant. And I just feel so good wearing this black velvet shirt all the time. Every time that I wear it, I get so many compliments. And it's just a really easy shirt to wear. And you don't have to wear it with black pants if you want to wear it with light wash jeans, maybe some white linens, even some gray slouchy dress pants, like a mid or like a lighter gray. You could definitely swing that. And the shirt doesn't necessarily have to be velvet either. I just like the velvet because it adds a little bit of something to the fit and it gives off a really nice, elegant, kind of classy connotation. Next up, I'm gonna wear my Butter Goods collaboration pants with Smurfs, my left field white t-shirt, my so-so raw denim jacket, and my black Supreme Air Force Ones. And really what I wanted here was to kind of bring out the statement pant. And I love how if I wanted to take the jacket off, if I get too hot, it's easily removable and this outfit still looks just as good. And then I still have the jacket if I need it, if I'm going inside and the AC is too much, or if I'm by the water, or if I'm at a waterside restaurant and it just really gives me a lot of play with how I want to wear the outfit and how I want to manipulate it over time and I also just really love this denim jacket I love the selvage ID on the chest pocket and I love the way that it's starting to fade down a little bit and the left field t-shirts that I wear are just some of my favorite t-shirts that I've ever worn because I feel so good wearing them they have a nice body to them without being too scratchy or too soft and honestly they just get so much better with age and I think that the stark white color really allows for the pattern and the pants to pop and this to me is a really artsy outfit that I would wear if I'm going to like a museum if I'm going to a casual dining spot during the day or if I'm going to a show or something like that this is one of my perfect go-to outfits for the spring summer next up I'm gonna wear my left field white t-shirt my brownish tan houndstooth dress pants and my Nike MMW Baroque Browns and this is just a really simple easy drapey beautiful fit that's gonna get me through the day when I have no idea what's in store and I want to look good but I don't want to look too much you never know who you're gonna meet on the way and you want to kind of have a nice presence to you with a little bit of a casual vibe I didn't want to do anything too dressy with the shoes because sometimes it could be a little too much depending on what you're doing and you also don't want to come off too stuffy so that's why I think the nice kind of architectural structure of the Baroque Browns really adds a lot of character and dimension to the outfit while still keeping it nice and casual and I also just love the nice wide fit of the dress pants it just gives this outfit a little bit of a sense of friendliness ease comfortability coziness and I just love the look that this outfit it gives me. For the ninth outfit, I'm gonna be wearing my Supreme North Face floral jacket, my baggy white linen pants, and my pink Supreme 3 eye lug shoes. And I've worn something similar to this before, but instead, in order to kind of climatize the outfit, I decided to swap out the jeans that I wore last time with these white linen pants and keep everything else the same because I just love the way that these shoes complement the jacket. But I think that the white linen pants allows both the shoes and the jacket to pop. The jacket is nice and super lightweight, it's breathable, and the linens really bring out a nice kind of casual look and I feel like the white brings together the jacket and the pink shoes because they are slightly off but you don't always have to go super matchy matchy as long as you have a color composition that's gonna come together and make sense and I really think that that white is the glue that brings the two together to give this outfit a really nice casual vibe and I also decided to take off the sleeves to make it even more breathable. And for outfit number 10, the last outfit, I'm gonna wear my green linen suit with my Supreme Patchwork short sleeve shirt and my brown loafers. And this to me is just the perfect pinnacle of bringing together streetwear and tailoring because I really love the way that this green kind of pops with the red and the other subtle colors that are inside the patchwork shirt. And I would wear this outfit literally anywhere. I would wear it to work because I do work in an office setting. I would wear it on a date, maybe not the first date, but I would definitely wear it on like date number or three or four. I would wear it out to a fine dining spot. I would wear it out to a museum. I would wear it to a party. I would wear it anywhere because this outfit just has a really calm elegance that really exudes confidence, class, and extensive knowledge in menswear dressing and fashion. And the fit is just immaculate. I love the bagginess of the green linens. And I know a lot of people say they don't like the wrinkling of linen jackets. I, on the other hand, really love that crushy kind of casual look because it gives the linen life. It's almost like a pair of raw denim. It kind of takes to your body shape over time and you're telling a story through that garment and that to me is something that is truly truly special thank you guys so much for watching i'm actually really late for work so i have to clip this video short but i appreciate you guys we're almost at 700 subs and please feel free to drop down any video ideas that you have that you want to see me do and i love taking your guys advice and kind of interacting with you guys and seeing what you want to see so make sure to drop that down in the comments and i'll see you next week